What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Geek Summit. This is actually my first figure review, and uh, and this is actually if you haven't seen these yet, I just picked this up on eBay last week. These are the uh, these are the very unofficial 1977 uh, replica, I guess you could call them, stormtrooper figures that are coming out of China right now. Uh, these are very cool. When I saw this, I was like, no way! I, I can't believe they're putting out a vintage. Absolutely vintage style figure, but then it turned out it was just a bootleg when I was like, I was like, okay, well, that's still pretty damn cool. Uh, this is, uh, this is a standard white Stormtrooper, and then also the, uh, Black Hole variation. I'd have been totally cool if there had just been two standard Stormtroopers, but I guess they had to kind of give a little, little variation in there to pull, uh, pull folks in. Uh, really, you don't have to do much to entice somebody to want to buy a bright, bright white vintage Stormtrooper figure. But anyway, I just want to do a quick review of what I'm seeing here. I actually picked up two of these. I'm going to leave this one in the box, but I do have two that I've opened already. Uh, it comes in a cellophane standard, you know, direct from China plastic bag uh, with the uh, sealed top. Uh, it almost seems like it's custom made for this figure. Uh, the uh, blister is actually a Stormtrooper shaped, uh, Stormtrooper helmet shaped blister. Uh, then it has the two figures in there side by side, two vintage blasters. Excuse me as I blow your eyeballs out there with this glare. Uh, two vintage blasters. Uh, the artwork on the box is, you know, it's it's bootleg, but it's kind of convincing to a point. Uh, I see some horrible design choices, but uh, first of all, starting off with the uh, Revenge of the Sith Darth Vader artwork. Eh, I kind of got tired of seeing that print on every single thing from, uh, let's see, 2005 till about 2008 uh, at my Dollar Tree. But, uh, let's see. Basically, all of this text on the back is just outlining the uh, <coughs> the uh, filmography, basically, of Star Wars. All the release dates and just kind of giving a very, very brief history of, of the legitimate story of Star Wars. Because this is a legitimate Star Wars product. Uh, it basically looks like it was just kind of yanked off of Wikipedia. Uh, also, to avoid any legal ramifications, they point out there are small parts that a child could choke on. Uh, so, any children under three, that's a no-no. Uh, we have a barcode here, which if you scan it, <clears throat> it will lead to nothing. I just kind of use my Abzilla uh, barcode scanner for that one. Uh, trademark and copyright 2012 Lucasfilm Limited, all rights reserved. So they're really coming at this with their balls out. Uh, I guess I can admire that, but George Lucas might not care for it at all. The uh, packaging on the front, uh, gratuitous use of the uh, Star Wars brand, both corners, can't miss it. Uh, then also Stormtrooper from one of the uh, Battleground 1 or 2 video games, nice clip of a stormtrooper, some T-16 concept art, excuse me, sorry, eyeballs, uh, T-16 concept art looks like, a little bit of the Falcon, and another couple of episode one uh, spaceships, uh, all in all, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't expect to see this in any kind of retail location, but I could totally, <clears throat> I could totally go for it if I found it at Dollar Tree. But really, I can't lie, if I saw this at Walmart, I would probably pick up quite a few of them, if they're reasonably priced, but that would not happen. Uh, so that's it for the packaging. Just want to show that off as it is, as it will appear in your mailbox. Uh, then, let's see, just a inspection of the loose black hole stormtrooper. Uh, it's a, the plastic is really rubbery. It's, it's a very, you know, it's a, it's a very cheap kind of rubber. <clears throat> but uh, I did hold these up to the light, and they are actually, you know, assembled just like the uh, the vintage Stormtrooper figures, which was the uh, body was two pieces that was pressed together with, you know, some kind of fastening in the middle, and then they go around, and they do the flashing or the welding or whatever you call it to close the edges up, uh, super glue, whatever, what have you. Uh, the blaster is, you know, kind of genuine looking on one side, and then boom, super, super glossy on the other. I can't really explain that. Uh, looks like they just kind of painted one side and then coated the other. Uh, the details on the, uh, face, where the details would be white on your vintage, you know, standard Stormtrooper. They've gone and made them silver, so your gills and aerators and eyeballs and all that, and, and his earrings and his lovely, uh, uh, back of the head vents. All that stuff has been made silver. Uh, pretty convincing go at it. Uh, I see some spots that kind of or telltale that it's a bootleg, besides the fact that it's a black Stormtrooper. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But, uh, you know, you, you can see some second-generation runoff on the feet. Uh, you know, where your standard Stormtrooper is definitely a cleaner production of that. Uh, for some reason, <clears throat> you know, there's there's several different versions of Stormtrooper. 
from the you know, 70s lines, you know, there's the, the wide stride, the the toothpick. You know, he can do all kinds of dives from all the different variations of uh, stormtroopers from back in the day. <clears throat> but this one is, uh, has come with the, you know, the polite stance, I guess you could call it. Attention, I guess, standing attention. Uh, and in doing that, and it almost seems like they've done it very intentionally to make this make this stride very narrow. But in doing that, they've kind of limited... Uh, well, I mean, he still stands up pretty straight, but it seems like this left leg or right leg, excuse me, is a little shorter than the other one. So he does kind of tend to lean to one side, favor one leg, if you will. Uh, and then let's go to the star of the show, just the standard, standard bootleg of the uh, standard white stormtrooper. And I mean, the second you hold this thing up, you're like, wow, that's not a bootleg. That's totally my, that's totally my 1977 stormtrooper that I left under the couch 30 years ago at my parents' house. And holding up to another, uh, this is, you know, of course, a genuine Stormtrooper. Uh, I mean, there is basically no difference. Just some just some rough spots from second generation casting. That's really all you pick up on. Uh, that, and because of either the quality of the plastic or the fact that it is a second generation casting, uh, it doesn't have exactly that same shine that your vintage figures will have. No matter how old these things get, uh, no matter how much you chewed on them when you were a kid or anything, uh, they still have this shine to them, no matter how yellow and nasty and just, you know, just raunchy you see these Stormtrooper figures get. They still have the shine to them. Uh, these have a shine to them, but still not the same the same shine. It probably won't be as durable because this, this plastic, also on the white ones, is, you know, it's it's that same rubbery, rubbery, uh, you know, uh, what would you call it? Budget plastic, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe the rubbery stuff's... More expensive. I couldn't tell you. I'm not a bootlegger. Uh, but anyway, a very convincing, more than convincing, go at it. Uh, I want to point out that on the back, they also have the the very recognizable copyright GMFGI 1977 Hong Kong. Uh, so that's the variation of Trooper that they made this cast off of. Uh, I mean, if you dumped one of these on me and told me it was genuine, I would totally believe it, because, I mean, it's it's just absolutely dead on. All the details have been pegged. All the paint details have been honored. Uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good cast for a second generation cast, and, uh, yeah, I, I can definitely admire that, because right before I saw these guys, I was actually kind of working with making some, <laughs> making some vintage bootleg figures, but really just for my own, for my own purposes, because I love Stormtroopers. But anyway, this was this was my go at it from pros possibly about three weeks ago, and uh, you know you see he's got this shanker on his butt there. He's probably had somebody look at that, but uh, still it was a pretty good pretty good go at it. He's pretty uh, pretty yellow, but that's really just the resin I'm using. Uh, it was done from a two piece mold where I actually broke a, a vintage figure part and extended all the uh, joints out with sprues. So I tried to cast it as a whole figure, but that led me to a whole bunch of complications with uh, bubbles and resin trafficking and all that kind of stuff. So I've got a you know pretty chewed up back, but a very, very decent front. So I hadn't really, uh, hadn't really figured that one out, but I think I'm just gonna have to let that process go. But uh, anyway, uh, very cool figure. I was super, super excited when I found this thing available on eBay. It was like fourteen ninety five free shipping, so I got two sets uh, because I figured I was not going to run into a couple of figures this good looking uh, for what they are for any cheaper, really. But anyway, uh, whoever's making these guys, definitely uh, I wouldn't have anything against you sending me a case of them for doing this little commercial for you. Sharp little figure. Uh, everybody else, definitely go check these guys out and, and uh, pick one up yourself, see what you think of them. And that's, that's all for this one, so thanks for looking.